Stabber. And uh, this is the part where I make sure we're on the air. That was the great Gary Marino and the great Frederick. I'm doing my sound check. Sounds good. I'm, I get nervous when the equipment. Uh, behaves as well. It's, it's better luck when everything breaks. We're on a very low latency. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Hi, Dave Corbett. Nice to see you, sir. And that was the fabulous Brenda, uh, escorted by Frederick. Well, we'll find out a little bit more about that situation as the reality piano bar uh, continues into the evening. And the real life drama of the piano bar culture unfolds to the soundtrack of the Great American Song Book. And bringing up all my all my little monitors. Really, all I need is that one. Though. This is a backup. Yeah, I'm over equipped tonight. And uh, now I do have other cameras going. Uh, my apologies to the home audience. And, uh, a glass of water would be great. It would be. It will be great. I do have my emergency can of pop. It's important to irrigate when you're in show business. And uh, now tonight, uh, Mary Kate O'Connell Company, well, Mary Kate O'Connell, I can't speak for the others, but I can speak uh, with first-hand knowledge of Mary, Mary Kate O'Connell told me she was not able to make it this evening, but she's looking forward to being back on the show next week, which is terrific. I, now back, back to the uh, camera situation. In fact, uh, hang on, we'll turn on this last cam. I didn't want to waste the battery.
Okay, uh, pardon my absence. Uh, I do have, I did, I do have three, three other cameras set up. And we're doing a four-camera shoot. The live shoot tonight is uh, limited, limited to one camera for the live stream, and that's unfortunately for you, it's the one trained on me. My name's Howard. I'll be your lounge pianist for this evening. I'll be singing for you for the next couple hours. And, uh, but very soon, within, uh, we're developing the technology to, for this remote show so that we can bring you the real-time live cams. We have uh, multi-cam the first week or two. <coughs> Excuse me. First week or two that the staff would reopen. But uh, I didn't feel that the system I was using was up to the WBIG TV viewers' standards and expectations for us. So I've been investing heavily, literally working full time on developing uh, a, new, a new technology for live streaming piano bar from remote locations with multiple cameras and other cool things that you'll see um, in a way that's we'll, we'll actually be introducing it to mankind it's um, it's kind of like Starlink but a little on a smaller more piano bar scale uh, as far as uh, innovation goes so I'm very encouraged with the way that's coming along. It's finally really coming together. It's going to be a blast, and we'll be able to bring you the full reality part of this reality piano bar. It'll, it'll start to make sense to people once we have all the other cameras where we can. It'll be a lot like what we were doing at our mansion for the show for the last 10 years, but even, even to another level. Here, Rip. 
repeat, you can say hi to everybody. There you are. Oh, okay. See, there you are. Oh, I see. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Gary Marino is here. Oh, he is. Good. And so is Brenda and, and Frederick. And Frederick. Nice. Are they? Oh, they must be getting a nice, nice. They're becoming a show business couple. Yes. Right before our eyes. Yes. We're here on Reality Piano Bar. Yeah, she was like, give me a ride. That was nice. Oh, yeah, they said they saw you that one. <laughs> Harry <laughs> was riding her bike in her little salmon number. But I put on cats. Judith likes that. <laughs> nice to see you, Judith. Brenda and Frederick have been back on here the show together. Um, since they went out on a date. They met right here. That's right. You know, which a lot of things. Uh, Lounge Academy does become central to people's lives when they uh, attend. Here comes Marino. He looks like king of the lounge up there. Look at who's here, ladies and gentlemen. It's Scott and Jane. It's Jane and Scott.
Suburban Lanes, and I made a dollar sixty-five. I still have it in my wallet. I never spend my money. guys at home. Nice to see you, sir. Our very own. This is the Lounge Cadet theme song book. The high rollers get. Like, like Richie, he gets his losing them. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to up the game because Richie's turning into a, a, a whale. Um, yeah, the big. That's right. The big spenders. What did I do with, oh, you know what? That's the way you do it. Only, uh, I only inspect women. Brenda, he does, he inspects women. And only one. You what? I guess if he does inspections in his garage.
means I gotta turn up my chunk amplifier. That's how I do my sound check, Marino. If people don't die of laughing of my jokes, I know they're not turned up loud enough. Who needs a sound man? Or, you know, if they give me a dirty look, I know they heard it too. Could go either way. I'll be tired of Jay when stars grow tired of gleaming. When I am tired of dreaming, then I'll be tired of Jay.
castle, up by the castle, we can live like kings. Thank you. 
it for the athletes she's riding with and acts tired and thirsty because she doesn't want to shame them because they've got personal trainers. In fact, some of them marry their personal trainers. Which is even better. That's getting really personal.
sometimes when I'm multitasking like this, the truth slips through unfiltered. Oh, it's my neighbor, and his name is Matt Chavez. Oh, yeah. He's right next door at Delaware Avenue, working in the room building. And it's swell. It's great to see him, Mr. Chavez.
audience. decade of our new millennium, the, the phones weren't really capable. In fact, the smartphone wasn't even out yet. So you had to have a camcorder with you, and they, they usually had tape. So then it was, uh, it, it was, there was toil involved in getting the, the tape onto YouTube, because then you'd have to digitize it somehow. Nobody still figured out how to do that gracefully. But there are a few, there are several Dodo Green numbers on YouTube, and I was enjoying them this week. With her great band. And their great piano, Trigger Gaston.
tomorrow All my tomorrows Right now it may not seem like spring at all We're drifting in the last of you don't, but I could make it up. 
I've you, you've stumped me. I've never, I've never. I thought you'd be there, but you weren't over there. I thought you'd be there. Our love is as great 
She's getting more and more with the scene. I can see this. Scott's creating a monster. She's gonna be who knows where with Ari Silverstein all over the basement of clubs down in the Queens. The top hipsters. Oh, <laughs> 
do it. But I can't do it from her. You'd have to be a mirror into the
Who knows what show this is from? Thank you. Sorry, I guarantee you Paul Dakota doesn't know what show this is from. Time after time. Sure, it's by Jewel Stein and Sammy Kahn. It happened in Brooklyn. Sounds like a beginning of an Ari Silverstein story. begin with a man eating a salad. I, I cannot blame that joke on the amplitude of my amplifier setting. This is where experience comes in and you know the difference. Because Scott's attention when you start talking. 
Now, Carol, now Carol and Lee was his uh, son. Um, I, I don't know. Well, the first Who was the first one? This is well, we'll answer one. that next this episode. Is an easy one. Yes. Carolyn Lee. Carolyn Lee. Well, the important thing is Carolyn Lee was the lyricist. And the lyrics are so beautiful, and they sound to me as if they would only be written by a woman. Carolyn Lee was was older than Sasha, right? I believe. Yes. Yes. She was she was the second lyricist he had. Yes. So I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even Jane can't explain. Can walk to the corner. Daydreams galore, cigarette ashes. Thank you. 
the show or film that Days of Wine and Roses is from. Days of Wine and Roses? <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> he got it. You know, you, 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 took, you really give, give me the tough ones. Who's right? buried in Grant's tomb? It's Stephanie Bax, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Stephanie. Six hours. Does he talk in his sleep ever? You don't know? What's that? What's that? Counting sheep? No loud? Nick, you be. So easy to idolize others above. So worth the yearning for. So swell, keep all the home fires burning for. Many 
decided to make it a lyric for this song. Could have. You know? That makes sense. I took one, one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my Songs. You know, back in those days, Richard Rodgers would write the music. 
and then he'd hand it off to uh, Lawrence Hart. And typically for him, he'd disappear for a week. Wow. And then he'd come back with those lyrics. Those lyrics are incredible. <laughs> Two minutes up to you to entertain the live audience here, even though you can't see them. But uh, I'll be right back. Short intermission. You couldn't do this over at EB Green. Yeah. Well, Jack would. start. H. Pog is what Buffalo is watching. I think, I think they know you, Nick. You did? How could you lose them? When you lost them. Oh, no. 
tipo camisão, trevos, What songs? Song. You're missing song sheets. I wish I were in love again The broken dates The endless waits The love we love it And the hateful hates The conversation with the flying plates I wish I were in love again No
I were in love again. These songs are still just as meaningful today, right? They're just worded differently. A lot differently. I thought you took off with Marino. Not yet, but I picked it up a couple of times.
called In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning. It's a long title. Well, thank you. Is that a great song? It's been done by some great singers from Sinatra. Bob Hilliard and David Mann. Our philosophy here at Lounge Academy is to play until every Every damn audience member has packed it up and gone home and the fish are the fish are hyperventilating. Thank you, Betty. It's a pleasure playing for you, Betty. I hope so. We'll be looking forward to it. Here she goes. This is the way you leave the room. This is the way you make the exit.
something you'd like like to close the show with? Anything special, Mary? Or, or Kathy? Kathy can have a, have a choice too. And the night big. We've got so many choices. Let's go randomly in this book. Don't smoke in bed. That's the name of the song. Maybe I can't live without you as long as I want to. I think of Peggy Farrell when I hear that song. Life won. 
One Memories are here. We watch Life One Memories made every time one of the same. Who knows, this could be a lifetime memory for Anthony, depending on how the rest of the evening goes. Might get arrested or something, remember that for the rest of his life. and destroy I know I know one we could do um Glenn, this is a this is a Glenn Miller too Glenn Miller he was a big band guy why where is his song Some more camera angles for you next week. 
There's Nick. See, there's the cameras you can't see. There's one. And, and see, I got one over there. Over there. Now, if I actually, if I actually edit the show for you guys, you'll see those. But I'll probably be too lazy. Pretty soon, I'm going to be bringing you live action multi cams within the next couple of weeks. I think. You got a whole lot of things. You got my picture. <laughs> Good night, Nick. It's been a wonderful evening. <laughs> Nick Moses, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Dan, one of the big grass around here. We got a whole party going out here. This could turn into a thing, Nick. These kids, the kids yeah. got the show tonight. Michael. I like these kids. Yeah, but they're nice. What are you talking about? They're nice kids. I can't stand oh. Well, you're supposed to be in like, Get off the lawn. All right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Wave good night, Anthony. There's Anthony. He's going to wave good night. We had a show again. How do you turn this off? Good night, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> you're asking me? Well, you're a know-it-all. You can tell me.